Hello everybody, John Robinson here, Power Technical Consultant for East Nebraska and Western Iowa. Today, we're going to talk about setting up a PowerFlex 753 for three-wire control. We're going to be making use of this PowerFlex 753 demo kit to demonstrate the programming of PowerFlex 753 for three-wire control. Digital input 0 on the main board is attached to this red push button and will be our stop input. Digital input 1 attached to the green push button will be our start input. A forward reverse directional input will be attached to this two position switch by way of digital input 2 and the 0 to 10 volt potentiometer will be our speed reference attached to analog input 0. To demonstrate parameter setup we're going to take a look at this A6 HEM on my PowerFlex 753 demo kit. I should point out that we're already on port 0 and we're going to go to the parameters, use the back arrow on the soft key to delete parameter 1 and type in parameter 158. This will take us to DI stop. Currently it's disabled. We're going to edit, select port 0, enter, enter digital inputs, and select input 0 associated with a red push button for the stop input. We're then going to go back to parameters and travel to parameter 161, which will let us set up our DI start. It is also disabled as a default. We're going to edit it, go to port 0, go to digital inputs, and select digital input 1, which is associated with our green push button. Now that that's set up, we're going to go back to parameters again, and we're going to move to parameter 162. This is our digital input for a reverse input. We're going to edit it, select port 0, digital inputs, and then select digital input 2, which is associated with our two position switch. This will allow us to switch between forward and reverse depending on the position of the switch. Now that those are set up, we're going to move to parameter 261. This is our analog input 0 high value, which is defaulted to 10 volts. This matches our potentiometer, so we're going to leave it as is. We're then going to move to parameter 262, which is our analog input low value, which is defaulted to 0 volts. This also matches our potentiometer, so we're going to leave it as is. From here, we will now move to parameter 545, which is our speed reference A selection parameter. We're going to edit this. We're going to choose port 0 for analog input 0, and of the many options available, we're going to skip to the bottom for analog input 0, which is parameter uh, 260. With that set up, we're now going to travel forward to parameter 547, which is our analog and high value, which associates the high value for the input to the high value for speed, which is 60 hertz. Parameter 548 is the low value, which is 0 hertz for our demonstration this is perfectly fine and represents our defaults. And with that, we have our system set up. And now I'm going to press start. It says it's at reference. I'm going to dial up the potentiometer to halfway. And you can see that it's rising up to 30 hertz. I'm going to change direction. You can see that the direction changing. I'm slowing back down to zero according to our ramp time, which defaults to 10 seconds. I'm now ramping up in the reverse direction up to 30 hertz. And I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop and decelerating to zero according to our decel time, which is defaulted to 10 seconds. Until finally I stop, I'm going to change our direction back to forward and I'm going to lower my potentiometer back down to zero. And there we have it. Thanks for watching, everybody. To recap, Use parameters 261 and 262 to program the maximum minimum value of your analog input or speed reference. Do you pay attention to your jumper. The J4 jumper on the main board will switch you between either a voltage source or a current source. In today's example, we used a voltage source. Reference drives installation manual 750-IN001 for more details. Parameters 547 and 548 adjust your speed reference analog input high and low values. They default to 60 Hz and 0 Hz respectively. Do adjust these as required. 
And remember, the digital input and speed reference parameters are always in port zero, whether that be a PowerFlex 753 or 755. But they should always point to the port where the actual I.O. connections are made. In today's example, those connections were to port zero. If you're using an I.O. expansion card, those connections may be on port four, five, or six, depending on your installation. Thanks everybody for watching. Do please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content, and have a good one.